And every perception doesn't have to be a distraction. And this is really the test of the practitioner in you, the adept in you. Can you view experiences and sensory input as affirmations of your beingness being prior to the perception? Or do you get lost, swallowed up in sensations and perceptions, believing that you are somehow caught in that web or a part of that web or a victim of that world? Any distraction, especially to the more practiced practitioner, can be turned upside down. It's like a coin you can look at from two sides. Every perception has two sides to it. One is its descriptive side, its object side, its out there side. But if you turn that experience around and use it as a mirror to remind yourself that you are, that you're awake, that you're aware, that you exist, then suddenly Anurag's voice, for example, exists inside of the space of I am. So you're turning around that experience and using it as a mirror, the backside of each experience is like the surface of a mirror. It's pointing you back to the fact that you exist to even know about that experience. Therefore, you are prior to the perceptions, and then they're no longer distracting. They're just waves and ripples that move about the screen, all of which confirms your existence as prior to the body, prior to the world. 